Hey, what's up? All right, so this video is about exponents, uh, specifically what exponents are. Um, so I guess it's really sort of a conceptual video, but um, as you might have heard me say if you've watched my other videos, uh, I, I think that the conceptual, having a really good conceptual understanding of something is the best way to be able to remember it and work with it and understand it. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna try to see if I can explain this in a way that makes sense. So um, I'm going to give an example. All right, so let's say I had something like this, 2 to the 5th power. So there's kind of, I want to just kind of go over some anatomy real quick. So 2 is the base of an exponent. And not surprisingly, the exponent is called the exponent of an exponent. So real creative there. Okay, um, what this means, uh, what an exponent is telling you to do, is it's basically telling you to take 2 and multiply it together 5 times. So I'm going to write this out. So what this means is that 2 to the 5th equals 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Notice there's 5 2's. There's 5 2's multiplied together because this number is a 5. So that's basically it. Um, that's what exponents are. It's just a way of... It's a way of... Um, it's a way of notating. It's a way of writing down, multiplying a number together a bunch of times however many times are in the exponent. So, um, now how can you remember this, all right? Now, I want to just kind of say something real quick. This is a, there's a really, there's a very, very nice analogy here between exponents and multiplication. Because, think about this for a second. What if I had something like 3 times 5? Doesn't 3 times 5 mean uh, 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3? It does, doesn't it? So you can think of there's sort of an analogy. It's like, um, it's like multiplication is telling you to add a number to itself a bunch of times. So if I go three times five, I'm saying add three a bunch of times. One, two, three, four, five, five times. Okay. Well, exponents are just telling you to to multiply a number a bunch of times. So um, there's 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 sort of like a neat little relationship there. I mean, I don't know. Maybe this. Um, doesn't make sense to, to people, but I think this is a really good way to sort of just put in perspective what exponents are. Just like multiplication is saying add things however many times you multiply by, uh, exponents are just saying multiply things. So I'm just going to give some more examples here, just so I don't, I'm, I'm, you know, not just going in a bunch of theoretical things, and I want to give some concrete examples. So uh, what if we had, so what would 3 cubed be? 3 to the third. That would be 3 times 3 times 3. What about 4 to the sixth? That equals 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right. How about 2 squared? That's just 2 times 2. All right. So now, um, I think you have the idea. All right. Um, but I want to go over two sort of very special cases of exponents that might not be obvious from this pattern that we just did. What about, what if I did something like this? What if I had something that was like, um, 6 to the 1. How do I multiply... Well, what would 6 to the 1 be? Well, turns out it would just be 6. So the rule is, anything to the first power is itself. So 6 to the 1 is 6. 10 to the 1 is 10. A million to the 1 is a million. Got it? Alright, so that's the first special case. Uh, the second special case that I think warrants further explanation um, is when you take something to the zero power. So that's kind of interesting, right? What, what, is something, what does it mean to multiply itself, something to itself, zero times, right? I mean, so what if I had, okay, so if I had 10 to the zero power, turns out that that equals 1. How did I know that? Well, because I know that anything to the zero power is 1. 10 to the zero power is 1. 9 to the zero power is 1. Uh, 5 to the zero power is 1. Uh, smiley face to the zero power is one. I'm just kidding, but seriously, smiley face to the zero power is one. Anything. It does not matter what it is, as long as it is a, well, the one exception is zero to the zero power, but that's a different story. As long as you have a non-zero integer, or non-zero any number, it, doesn't, it could be a fraction, it could be a variable, it could be whatever. If you take it to the zero power, it's one. So um, I'll just do a quick overview real quick. Multiplication and exponents have a very nice analogy. Just like multiplication is telling you to add a bunch of, add something however many times, 
uh, uh, exponents are just telling you to multiply it however many times. So that's that's what exponents are. Now, there's two special cases. If you take something to the first power, you just get that same thing. 6 to the 1 is 6, 8 to the 1 is 8, etc., etc. Okay, and then the, other, the second special case is anything to the 0 power is equal to 1. Um, and that's basically it. Um, I know there's, there, you know, there's more complicated things here. There's negative exponents and fractional exponents and all that BS. But basically, uh, this is, like I said, this was kind of a conceptual thing. So I hope that gave you a better understanding of what exponents are.